Panasonic, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Uh, okay, thank you for watching this video. Uh, as probably as me, you have been seeing all these days the the video reviews, the camera reviews on the Lumix GX6, and as you have perceive as me, they were not enough honest because you know Panasonic lends the cameras to the main YouTubers and they uh, make the first video reviews on these cameras so they get a lot of views. Uh, so they try to make some kind of positive reviews in order to Panasonic keep lending them new cameras in the future, right? So I understand that but as this is not my case I will share with you my honest review or my honest opinion about this new camera. And let's go to the three points. I mean, the first point is uh, which are the benefits of Micro Four Thirds. Second, which is the positioning or the position of um, Panasonic in this camera space. And at the end, which is this new camera, the Lumix GH6, right? Okay, let's go to the beginning. I mean, which is the benefit of Micro Four Thirds. The benefits is this is a four times smaller um, sensor than a, a full frame sensor. So the benefits is uh, the stabilization, the in-body stabilization in camera, it is far better because it's a smaller sensor in order to stabilize. Um, it has more time recording because it overheats less as it is smaller the sensor in order to make the readouts and that results in that you need a smaller processor and with a smaller processor less powerful smaller sensor smaller body you can create cameras more affordable that you can reach to the masses and all these people that they want to enter in the video uh, ecosystem right uh, other options like sony canon uh, Nikon, Fuji, they are far expensive than Lumix, so Lumix had a great opportunity in order to place massive cameras for the masses in order to use a, a system which is interchangeable uh, lens system. You can also have uh, batteries for replacement, you can uh, use external, uh, well, to use several SD cards. So at the end it is more convenient than filming with a smartphone. So that's a very good market space where you are between the smartphones and the expensive uh, full frame cameras, right? And that compensates for many of us because uh, they used to be small cameras, affordable, they didn't overheat it, and, and that's all. That's the, the market space of Micro Four Thirds, which is absolutely great. Okay, but of course it has some weak points. It is not the best dynamic range. Okay, a full frame camera has better dynamic range. The low light performance, it is not so good as in full frame because the sensor is smaller, so it is it has less performance for in, at night. Um, of course, there is a two times crop factor in camera that uh, requires you to place the camera uh, farther <laughs> in order to get the same composition that results in a worse bokeh or background separation right so it has of course some cons okay but it compensates the benefits that i have shared at the beginning okay so now that we have more clarity which is a micro four thirds market and benefits let's go to the position of panasonic panasonic is one of the biggest electronics manufacturer in the world they have big factories in order to create massive cameras so uh, if they design cameras for the masses uh, with high demand, they can produce okay, and build those cameras also very efficient because they have the mass production capabilities, right? But uh, which is the problem with the GH6? Uh, okay, they don't have the face detection uh, autofocus, which requires um, th that results in that. Uh, they are moving from a massive market okay, to a niche market which is competing with Blackmagic in order to create those film making 
cameras with an external Atomos Ninja 5 and creating a rig. Okay, but how many people do you see in the street with a rig of filmmaking? Okay, it is when you are filmmaking outdoors, uh, usually I don't feel comfortable with a rig because everyone is looking at me if I have not asked for permission for filmmaking outdoors. Uh, it is better to go with a smaller camera uh, so that I, I'm, I look like a tourist, you know, and not like a professional filmmaker, right? So at the end, um, moving to a marketplace which is competing with Blackmagic in a niche space very specific where Blackmagic, they are not a big electronics manufacturer. They create cameras and they have the DaVinci Resolve software and they are a small company that they are working in a very small niche but that it's enough for them but probably it is not enough for Panasonic because Panasonic has this uh, massive production capability and they need to create uh, massive demand cameras right so you need the autofocus uh, by detection uh, face detect so, um, okay, let's look now to the GX6. So, as you didn't solve the autofocus, you try to solve that with a huge processor. A huge processor, of course, is more expensive and overheats. As it overheats, you needed a, a, a fan internally in the body, and that resulted in a bigger camera. A bigger camera in order to uh, avoid the overheating, a camera that is bigger than a full frame and now that it consumes very fast the batteries because there is a huge big processor that it's also expensive so you cannot create cheap cameras because you are using now an expensive processor so you can see that you have skewed it up. <laughs> I mean now there, are, there aren't any of the benefits of Micro Four Thirds. They are no longer smaller. They, are not, they don't overheat. Uh, they are not efficient. They, they don't... Um, uh, they are... I mean, it's the opposite to the spirit of Micro Four Thirds. If I, I have to spend um, more than 2,000 euros in a camera that it's Micro Four Thirds, it is not full frame, you know, and there are other full frame options at that pricing uh, range. Um, but I understand, you, you now you have a more powerful processor, okay, but that overheats and needs a bigger body at the end, uh, people are moving with a big camera with a small sensor. And that, at the end, for me, that has lost the spirit of that segment of cameras, right? So um, I think you are not on the right direction. And I think Micro Four Thirds has a great opportunity to develop cameras in another different direction. This is not the end of the world. I mean, this is just a camera which has not a good strategy. Okay, a good strategy of branding and how to position your brand and which are the benefits why people purchase us and choose us instead of others. I mean, this is the previous analysis that you need to do in order to succeed. And I will give you an example. Look at Apple. Look at their, their new M1 processor, right? Um, they have invested a lot in research and development. Uh, they have moved, moved from uh, an Intel architecture to their own architecture. Uh, the Intel was not efficient. It overheats. It is needed a lot of power in order to use, for example, Adobe Premiere Pro in a Windows architecture system. But it is needed very few processing power in order to use Final Cut Pro in an M1 processor. Uh, M1 processors, they are efficient, they are intelligent, they are smart. Uh, by using more, investing more in research and development, then they lower the production costs because uh, when you open a Mac Mini, uh, M1 Mac Mini, you, 
to see inside that the, 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 the chip on, on the board it is very small it is a, a, a sock okay a system on chip it is very small and very cheap to produce and create these uh, machines because they have used efficient technology and this is what Panasonic uh, should look at because if you have the factories and you can create massive production of cameras it is not intelligent to use a very powerful processor in order to drive and use a, a, a micro four third sensor that doesn't make sense okay what you need to do is to implement face detect autofocus because that is the solution is the same that others have already done you have very good cameras that used to have them in the past but the new GX6 it is not on the right direction Panasonic so you need to reconsider your strategy it doesn't matter this is not the end of the world but you need to start creating small efficient intelligent micro Ford cameras that they can uh, uh, go into a market that it is not fulfilled because uh, camera manufacturers like Canon like Sony they are becoming more and more and more expensive and there is a demand for uh, mid-range cameras and this is your opportunity but the GH6 it is not on the right direction and that's my analysis uh, I'm sure that anyone has done a video like this because most of the youtubers they just were trying to create positive reviews in order to keep getting more Lumix cameras this is not my case so well this is my honest review thank you so much and see you in the next video bye bye